Given a choice, wouldn't you want a government job? Well, most of us do because it gives you a job security, however low the salary might be compared to a private job. The sense that you will not lose your job is comforting. Similarly, when it comes to investment, a government guarantee feels tempting, however low the returns might be. This is why people prefer to invest in instruments that come with the government guarantee, also called a sovereign guarantee. One such instrument is government security. What a government job is in the employment world, government security is in the investment world. Hello everybody, I am Vaishnavi and welcome to Allies Blue Online. In this video, I'll be explaining everything about government securities. What is meant by government securities and what are the revenue sources for the government? Broadly, direct and indirect taxes. If the government falls short of the revenues, it approaches the Reserve Bank of India to borrow money. With the help of RBI, the government launches bonds or treasury bills to raise money from the public. These bonds and treasury bills are called government securities or GSEC. You may not trust your friend or a relative to return your money, but you do trust the government that it won't default your payment. This sovereign guarantee is the key feature of government security. One invests in a government security at a fixed interest rate for a predefined period after the end of which you get your money back along with the interest. The only downside to the GSEC is that the returns are relatively lower compared to the other securities due to the negligible risk associated with them. Now, let us move on to types of government securities. The government securities come with different maturity period based on which these are classified in the following types. The first one is Treasury Bills. Treasury Bills or T-Bills are short-term government securities issued by the Union Government. They come in three variants, 91 days, 182 days and 364 days. T-Bills do not pay interest amount. Then why invest in them, you wonder? Well, they may not have the interest component, but they are issued at discount to their par or real value. For example, if the par value of a T-Bill is Rs 100, you might get it at an issue price of Rs 95. However, on maturity, you will get the entire Rs 100. Therefore, the price difference between the par value and the issue price, that is Rs 5, is your return on T-Bill. The second type is Cash Management Bills. Cash Management Bills or CMBs are new to India, launched only in 2010. CMBs are issued to meet immediate cash shortage or debt obligations that the government may face. Their features are similar to those of T-bills but they are issued for maturities less than 91 days. The third type is dated government securities or government bonds. When a government security is launched for the long term, it is called a long dated government security. Unlike T-bills and CMBs, government bonds pay the interest amount twice a year. The maturity period could be anywhere around 5 years and 40 years. The interest amount, called the coupon rate, could either be fixed or floating. These are some types of the government bonds. Fixed Rate Bonds When the coupon rate remains fixed throughout the tenure of the bond, it is called a fixed rate bond. The second type is floating rate bonds. When the coupon rate is reset after every six months, it is called the floating rate bonds. The government launched the floating rate savings bond 2020 scheme with an interest rate of 7.15% on July 1st, 2020. The next one is capital indexed bonds. When the principal amount is linked to an accepted index of inflation, this bond is issued to protect the principal amount of investors from inflation. The next one is inflation indexed bonds. The principal amount and the interest payment both are linked to an inflation index. The next one is bonds with call or put options. In this, the issuer has the right to buy back the bond, that is the call option, or the investor can exercise his right to sell bonds to the issuer, that is put option. The next one is special securities. When the government has to compensate entities such as oil marketing companies, fertilizer companies and the food corporation of India, etc., in place of cash subsidiaries, it issues special securities. These are popularly called oil bonds, fertilizer bonds and food bonds respectively. The next one is strips. Strips, that is, separate trading of registered interest and principle of securities, are essentially zero coupon bonds. However, they are created out of existing securities and unlike other securities are not issued through auctions. The next one is sovereign gold bonds. Sovereign gold bonds allow investors to take an exposure in gold in the digital form. These are issued periodically in various series each year and come with a maturity of 8 years. The nominal value of the bond is calculated based on the previous week's simple average closing price of 99.99% of purity gold. India Bullion and Jewellers Association that is IBJA publishes the price list. One unit of SGB comprises one gram of gold. The next one is state development loans. 
द बॉन्ड इश्यूड बाई स्टेट गवर्नमेंट आर कॉल्ड द स्टेट डेवलपमेंट लोन और एस डी एल्स दीज आर नॉट वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द डेटेड सिक्योरिटीज द ओनली डिफरेंस इज दैट द लैटर इज इश्यूड बाय द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट वाइल एस डी एल्स आर ओनली इश्यूड बाय द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट इंटरेस्ट इज सर्विस एट हाफ इयरली इंटरवल्स एंड द प्रिंसिपल इज रीपेड ऑन द मेच्योरिटी डेट Now let me give you a few examples of government securities. The nomenclature of a government security displays pretty much everything about a particular GSEC. A dated government security with a fixed rate will be displayed like this: 7.17% GS 2028. It contains the following features: coupon 7.17% paid on face value, name of the issuer, government of India, date of issue January 8, 2018. Maturity January eight two thousand twenty eight. Coupon payment dates half yearly that is July eight and January eight. Every year minimum amount of issue sale ten thousand. Source RBI. In case these are two securities with the same coupon and are maturing in the same year, then one of the securities will have the month attached as suffix in the nomenclature. For example, six point zero five percent GS two thousand nineteen FEB. Let us find out how to invest in government securities. Earlier government securities were only available to banks and large financial institutions however the RBI has been taking initiatives to make it available to the retail investors as well just in february 2020 the RBI also announced that the retail investors will also be allowed to open gsec investment accounts directly with the RBI both for the primary and secondary issuances the account will be called RBI retail direct well we've come to the end of the video that's it for government securities i hope that all your doubts regarding government securities are answered for more such informative videos make sure that you subscribe to allies blue online this is vaishnavi signing off i will see you in the next video investment in securities markets are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing